Hi everyone. Gonna be playing in Uh actually new content for once. Not not just pretend new content. We've, <laughs> yeah, we've never done this far before. <laughs> we've never done this before, so expect us to do really well. I mean just like we've not done anything else before. But anyway, oh, need to talk oh, to our, our chain smoking hacker who had never smoked in <coughs> game, but uh <coughs> I like how it gives me the talk prompt when I'm looking at your chair. Oh no, no, sorry. sorry. You want to talk to my chair? That's fine. Probably All the done. Same Patched it through to both our what offices. What's going on? Are you getting a signal? Yep. Are you humping Looks my good. chair? I don't know what you hope to get from this, though. <laughs> I hope to get nothing. But trusting people has bit me in the ass before, so now I like to play it safe. Thanks for your help, Martin. Yeah, sure. That was a meaningful conversation. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Phew, oh, I think it's because you got you were stuck in the corner because I was blocking you. <laughs> so you just like sat there like just pumping the chair to try and get out. I was like, nice. <laughs> this bodes well, folks. We're gonna do really well at this. Uh, it feels bad to sort of make fun of the quirks in this game. But it, I believe it's a smaller studio, and I don't think they did anything else. And it is a good game. It is, and we're making fun of it because we enjoy it. It's not like we're bad mouthing it. It's just like this is so much fun. Because there, there is a fine line. There is a fine line of uh, mocking the afflicted and, uh, you know, having fun with a game which happens to be a bit glitchy. Yeah, I like gl glitches in fun games. Speaking of... <laughs> okay, so we are going to London, England for Catalyst Innovation. I bet you it's raining and everyone speaks with a stiff upper lip. And we are playing on Hunt, I believe? Completely. Uh, based on the financial data that Absalom collected, our analysts have identified a London investment bank called Catalyst, which appears to be a nexus for laundering drug money. If we can track down the people responsible for the laundry scheme, we may have the source of our leaks. Monsieur is needed in Germany, so we'll be sending Kozlova and Zimborski again. Uh, please massacre my pronunciation in the comments. The mission is to locate and secure the records pertaining to their drug money accounts, both the paper files and digital records. Catalyst is a secretive business with very wealthy clients, so expect fairly high security. Our cover can get you limited access here. Blitz time limit? Five minutes. <laughs> we, uh... We will Five not be doing that. Uh, five hours, maybe we'll be able to do it because we're super cautious. <laughs> Virus unlocked. Ooh, Gadget nice. unlocked. Weapon unlocked. Oh dear. I still swear she's making these missions up. There's absolutely nothing on the screen. <laughs> One of the most silent pistols in the world? Oh boy! It doesn't work, that's why it's silent. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I actually want spear ammunition, because it's probably uh, gone a bit ro- Oh, sorry, I, I can just take a bunch of ammo. Okay, and I want a pager, and I want a remote modem just in case, and... Yep. What the hell's a banshee? Let's have one of them. Alright. And I still just have the low profile outfit, though frankly the eye catching bright red probably isn't the best choice. Eh, it works. You could just All pretend right. you got shot in the butt. <laughs> have you uh, selected uh, all your stuff? Do you do I that don't, or do you just get no, it all? all right, I okay. don't get to select anything. Literally I see a blank screen. <laughs> Ruby, let's begin. All right, everyone, before we begin the briefing, I'd just like to thank you all for your work you've put in over the past couple of weeks. It's been a rough start, but it feels like we've all begun to set aside our differences and get into the swing of things. Keep up the good work. Now, I'll let Sarah explain what the analysis department has discovered since Copenhagen. Then I'll get into the details of this next operation. Right. Well, thanks to the efforts of our field team, we've had full access to the data compiled by Absalom in the months leading up to his death. Absalom was charting the monetary flow from the pan-European and the South American drug trade. He managed to get quite close to identifying a single common destination for this money. But of course, 
He was not an analyst. We managed to finish what he started. We've traced the accounts to a London-based financial company called Catalyst Investment Group. How much money are we talking about? On the order of hundreds of millions of dollars. What's it all for? It's clearly some sort of money laundering scheme. Catalyst is a black hole into which a staggering amount of capital is disappearing. It must be coming out somewhere else. But we can't see past the event horizon to maintain the metaphor. I see where this is going. Yes. Of course, we need to get inside Catalyst. We need to get a hold of their files, both physical and digital, so we can trace the movement of the drug money through the organization and identify the recipients. Hold the phone. How does this relate to our mission? This money laundering scheme is the best lead we've got. The betrayal of Absalom fits the pattern of our leaks. For now, we're assuming that whoever was responsible for our leaks also sold out Absalom and Mr. Mansour. At the same time, it's clear that this scheme is at the heart of Absalom's death. Absalom and Mansour were investigating different parts of the same criminal operation, and they were both getting very close indeed. We conclude that they were sold out in order to impede the investigation. How can we know that? The cash flow stopped shortly after Absalom died. The operation is probably being restructured, while the CIA is scrambling to establish new knock agents. It's not conclusive evidence, but it's enough to act on. Thank you, Sarah. I've chosen to send Miss Kozlova and Mr. Zimborski to London. While Mr. Mansour will track down Absalon's German contact and connect with his network in Central Europe. We're going to London? It's an accounting office. We'll be fine. Our pretext should get you through the front door without any trouble. You have two pairs of objectives. One, our sources indicate that the chief internal auditor should have the records of which files we need. Search his office. Then search the physical archive in the basement. Two, the server room is on the third floor. But first, you'll need to secure a decryption key from the IT office. I can get into the IT computers remotely. We don't need to get Cat in there. What's the pretext? You're on the cleaning crew. That should get you past the lobby and let you roam the hallways. If you need to search the offices, you'll still have to keep a low profile. The main problem is getting past the archive guard. The only way into the archive is past a permanently staffed security desk. You may have to get your hands dirty at that point. Unless Mr. Simborski can find a pressure point for whoever's on duty when you arrive. How's the security? Handled by a contractor called Safeguard, one of the few private firms licensed to carry lethal weaponry in the UK. They're one step above mall cops, but don't underestimate them. No time to waste. You'll leave tomorrow morning. Make sure you're ready for any eventuality. Good luck. Sounds like I'm going to have something to do in this mission. Yeah. Blackmail. I'm, I'm kind of curious if there are any private firms or uh, licensed to carry firearms in the UK. No. <laughs> My money would be on nope. <laughs> Although I suppose maybe like high-end security stuff that worked directly for the government, maybe. I'm maybe, in the yeah. lobby. Security looks light. Are you oh. ready? I'm God. To the network and ready to go. Stay frosty. No. Oh no, I'm not ready. This network is huge. Uh. The, this whole area looks safe, but I'm gonna jump. Can you give me a second to have a quick look around the network? Okay, I'll uh, admire this nice water feature. The security's like right next to me, so uh, this is gonna be fun. Moving. Hacking firewalls, let's go. Okay, first computer being hacked. Uh, oh, there's a code, 6124 for something. Uh, subsequent, capital, blah, blah, blah. There's a really rubbish email here, but there is one that's going to be quite useful. I'm sending John to pick up some files for London City. Could you send this week's code for the archive keypad? So the archive keypad is 6124. Okay. If that shows up at some point. I think I should probably introduce myself to the desk. I'm hoping I don't have to do anything there. Cleaning supplies are on the second floor. Remember, you're not allowed in the offices unescorted. I know. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Just nicked from Intel. 
what what are you looking at there? Maximum. <laughs> <laughs> Cliche. Stay classy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear mummy, thanks for a wonderful weekend. We've had a splendid time with daddy at the golf course. That's such a great email. Um, why did I even hack that computer? I'm not gonna kill that guy then. <laughs> yeah, you're still in a safe area at this point, okay. so... Just taking a look in all the... Why does that one have two cubic holes and that one have... Ah oh, right, men's and ladies. Though they're not actually marked. Okay, oh so as far as primary objectives go, your job is to find the Chief Auditor's uh, records. Uh, oh, still these. in the Chief area? Uh, give me a second. Uh, where are you? Right, you're about to go upstairs, aren't you? So I'm going to have to remember how to go up levels. How do I do that? How do I, how do I change floors? I don't know. I just work here. Ooh, cool. uh, I, 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 out in here out of work hours. Keep your head down. Understood. I have forgotten how to change floors on the camera. Um so I can't watch you at the moment. Give me a second. Uh sure. up down, page up, page down, home, no. Uh I, I ah. should stop changing floors really. Okay, you are currently still in a safe Actually, where are you now? Everywhere for over an hour. All right, I see you. Outside in the rain. Who calls in a bomb threat in Canary? Yeah, I mean, you're in a safe area. There's a lot of guards around here. If you go in any of the rooms, however, you'll be out of the safe zone. I can almost sympathize. The, uh, the entrance need work. Cool. Security. If I got around to going to report, I found it unnecessary alarmist. Hackers are not big scary threats. If they did, they passed through. Alright, Whisper, you're heading towards the archive. We won't know what to look for until you find the auditor's records from his office. I feel like I might want to choke out that guy. You're still in a completely safe area right Is now. Is the archive safe? Uh, the room in front of you is safe. There's a guy, though, that's going to be watching you as soon as you walk in there. There's a locked door on the right. Uh, which possibly Good is... Good evening, miss. I'm sorry, but the cleaning crew is not allowed down here. Are you John Smith? Smith? Uh, no, my name is Peter McCallan. Peter McCallan. I see, okay. I don't think we even have a John Smith here. What is this about? This is the Bank archive room, pressure yes. point. Yes. I've been looking for it, but you didn't give me a chance to keep looking. Sorry, sorry. I'm too stuck now. There's, there's too many computers on this network to hack through. I'm on this post tonight. Now, now what is this about? Are you I always am. on this post? Yes, I'm always on this post. Every Monday, the archive room is mine. And you weren't told I was coming? I was led to believe that you had been informed. No one right, what was his name? Anything, Peter McCollum. Maybe if you would tell me who you are and what you're doing here, we can find out if I can let you into the archive or not. I'm an intern up in Central Auditing. I need to fetch some files for the internal accounting guys. What is your name? Yulia. And who God's son has tax problems. Boss? The guy who sent me is called Phil. I don't remember his last name. I'm pretty new. Yeah, no kidding. And, and who the hell is Phil? Listen, I can't let you in here based on that. Tell this Phil bloke to call down himself if he needs something. It's come to our attention that your son has tax problems. How could you possibly... <laughs> who are you? All I want is to have a quick look at some files. Nothing so dangerous or scary, yes? All right, all right. You can go through. Thank you. And don't go raising any alarms now, or our little secret will get out. Oh, the room is open and the cameras are disabled. You're in a, you've got a safe room. If, uh, the it's place. completely, yeah, completely safe. This place is big. What am I looking for? Find the cabinet mentioned in the auditor's records and look for the correct drawer. Do you see that, uh... Computer. Uh, which one is it? Yeah, I've hacked that one already. I think. Okay. Not you, computer. I keep forgetting to mute you. <laughs> yeah, I've I've already got this computer. You find the only computer I'm going to need access to is in the server room, which I think they said was on the third floor.
Dolphy in there? It's bad. I want to choke this guy I'm not out. Outside in that shit. Yeah, I know, right? It's um probably wet. Maybe. That's that's what you're there for, right? To, to clean it. <laughs> One of their drawers of a different colour. I don't even know what's actually in that room. Neither do I. I have to find the Chief Auditor's records. Right, for the Chief Auditor's records, I believe that's on the opposite end of the building, like in the southeast section. Hmm. I thought this was just like a nice little diversion to pick up a couple of bits of intel on the dossier. Yeah, fair enough. That was a bit of a clutch find, though, on the, yeah. uh, <laughs> the, 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 the blackmail information. If I walk in this room. What? Oh. Right. Oh. 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 Right, I've got the camera. I've got the camera for that room now. Uh, no, oh. with uh, the oh. guards kind of going. Got ya. What's she doing in there? Yeah, you're not supposed what? to be there. Why, why is maintenance uh, locked to me? I, I suppose I don't I'm, know. I'm a queen or not maintenance, I guess. Yeah, the only thing in there is like a water pressure sensor anyway, or there might be some intel. Right, that next room... I've got the camera for it if you wanted to go in there, but I don't know if there's anything there. Yeah. And we don't usually go for a full intel break, do we, so... Oh, shit! Oh, he saw you. Um... Right behind you. Oh. <laughs> Why did you go into the maintenance closet, Katya? <laughs> I wanted the intel that probably wasn't even there. Probably. <laughs> <sighs> oh well, you know, this is what we do on a fresh run. Aren't you new? Yeah, sure, whatever. Cleaning supplies are on the second floor. Remember. You're not allowed in the office. I'm gonna have to go and rehack these computers to go and get the passwords again. Have a nice evening. Sorry. Not sorry. Uh. I checked the lose last time. Can read what's on the screens later. Right, first code six two zero two. Yesterday. What was that about? We had the met everywhere. Alright, Whisper, you're heading towards the archive. We won't know what to look for until you find the auditor. probably be tax for a once again, right? Probably, yeah. Good evening. Good evening, miss. I'm sorry, but the cleaning crew is not allowed down here. Are you John Smith? Smith? Uh, no, my name is Peter McCallan. Peter McCallan? I see, okay. I don't think we even have a John Smith here. What is this about? It's come to our attention that your son has tax problems. How could you possibly... <laughs> Who are you? All I want is to have a quick look at some files. I'd say, you know, they've got Nothing's the stereotype of British teeth yes. down, right, but everyone right. has awful teeth in this through. game. Thank you. And yeah. don't go raising any alarms now, or our little secret will get out. And I might just have to shoot you in the head. This place is big. What am I looking for? Find the cabinet mentioned in the auditor's records and look for the correct drawer. Cabinet mentioned in... Ah, right, okay, so I need to find the auditor's records and then come back here. I really should have paid more attention there. <laughs> Is this going to be one we can theoretically do uh, on the quiet? I'm hoping so. Although, you know, the next, the, the room you actually are triggered to go to, the first objective point, is not in the safe zone. Okay, okay. Right, if you turn left here. Uh huh. Go straight to the end and turn right. I'll check the ref room for any uh, EV intel. I mean, once all the alarms go off and stuff and we start killing all the guards, then, you know, totally we can go into all the other rooms. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna die before that happens. I don't know, we can like kind of guide you in the way to take them one at a time rather than be sandwiched between two of them. <laughs> you you really <coughs> your point. 
Because while you were shooting one, the other one just walked up yeah. behind Charging you and shot battery. you in the back. So I was like, eh. Right, uh, other direction if you... I'm supplying freaking pick up no, my 3 G. If, if you wanted bullets, I can give you bullets in there. What are you talking about? No cleaning crew allowed in here outside of... I, I just came in as the cleaning crew! <laughs> oh wait, that's the fourth lock. I don't want to do that. Yeah, there's another guard around the corner. Now, the room that you're after is that one right in front of you there to the right if there's a door. Okay, can I... I can't really see in. Right, I've got the camera. You're not in a safe zone anymore. Okay. But the... Things should be right there to your like behind you now, according to the map. Oh, is this a computer you need to get into? Uh, no, nope, already got it. Oh, right. The only computer you need to get for me is on the server room. Uh, the misrepresentation and inaccurate portrayal of the borough's financial statements and accounting practices by Councilman Jeremy Runcorn. The spreadsheets and financial schedules and information as presented by Jeremy Runcorn are misrepresentation and accurate portrayal of the borough's financial statements and condition. The recently submitted final audit of the borough's 1995 financial statements, as with all the previous London Borough annual audit statements, found that the boroughs represent the borough's... What? The results of the operation, there are no irregularities, and the... Uh... Okay, right, okay. I thought oh, that was oh, going to be like a clue in where we're going next. Nah. What you're after is in the opposite corner of the room. Alright. I can say I've gone through the, all the, the stuff on that computer. So oh my! Here. Yeah. Our esteemed member, subsequent salacious session shall start Saturday, October 5th. <laughs> this neighbor theme shall be captives and captors dress appropriately. We would have read through them if I'd had more time. <laughs> A final reminder, no single gentleman will be allowed. Right, so... Ah, right. Danish Parliament reopens? Again, right across from where you are. Is where the objective is. So here? Yep. Ah, Going right. to this. There, there you go. go. Okay, we just need to get you to the server room next. Uh, to install a rootkit and a terminal in the server room, and you have to search for the international private accounts in the archives as well. Yeah. The, the ones who bought Capital's international private accounts. Uh, yeah, I wonder where all the secret drugs stuff. Oh, sh oh, pardon my French. I, I realised I'd left me. that door there without checking if it was safe first. Okay. Oh, right, okay. I can yeah. see your objective on the third floor. Yeah. Okay. I'm just uh, going to pick up the auditor files. There is a wonderful, wonderful room to the northeast section here. Oh? Stop. Uh, you've gone past it. Somewhere to your right there is where it says. Alright, there we go. Castle, Whisper hey. has the paper files. We are heading to the server room. Understood, Condor. Nice. Yeah, there's a, there's a room with two metal detectors in it. I had totally forgotten how awkward their code names were. <laughs> Not Condor. Castle, Condor, <laughs> and Whisper. Right, okay, so. I think the staircase that you originally came up on will take you where you want to go. So. Yep, that way, just straight ahead, like all the way to the end and turn right. There's a lazy or fence there. Is she gonna walk through it? Uh, deactivate, so be some kind of. Uh, careful, that's not a safe room, that's not a safe room, that's not a safe room! That's, not a safe room. What you... <laughs> that's the room with all of the. Um... Oh, okay, there's no safe room, so you've been compromised. Guard up for in front of you on the left hand side coming around. <laughs> yep. All the safe zones gone. Your cover is completely blown. And you're dead. Yeah, see, that's the that's the fun room I was telling you about with the double uh, metal detectors in. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Perfect. This is it. First time. So, um, yeah. Let's go for a flawless run here. That never happened. 
I had such the urge to pull out a gun and just kill that guy. <laughs> yep, yep. We've got. We're back onto the third objective. <laughs> Let's Deep try and do this. Right, turn left. Follow this corridor. Just follow it around. <laughs> I mean, there's two computers in that room that you were in last time. Um, but there's loads of metal detectors and lots of security guards. Yeah. So, not sure how that's going. But this whole next floor is definitely not a safe zone. So, we're going to have to stop. Right, okay, so on this floor, you've got um, a rectangle corridor with a guard patrolling it and marking with the number one now. There is a camera straight through the door, so I've disabled that and taken over for you. Uh, oh. There is a laser fence right in front of you. So when you go through the door, you're going to want to turn left and hug the wall straight to the end. Uh, there's a door at the end, go through there. I'll take over the next camera. Then there's going to be a door at the a locked door on your left hand side. Give me a second. I'm going to go and find out what the key. I'm going to talk about this guy is. when he goes fast. Cool. I'll go find the password for that. Really? Oh, secure. Security's watching the computer. With the code on it. Shit. Just be careful you don't run too far ahead because there is a laser defense grid right in front of you. Oh yeah, I can see it. All right, cool. They're, they use visible band lasers because they're idiots. So everyone can say, well, they probably just realise, oh, everyone will just put down. So, uh, oh, crud. Yeah, the server mate, server security is watching the computer I'm trying to hack, so give me, give me one minute. Okay, am I good to go ahead? Uh, potentially, but I'm not going to be able to, like, okay. watch multiple avenues. So the code that you're going to need, yeah, if you follow that corridor straight to the end, the code you need when you get to the locked door, which will be on your left-hand side, is 6202. I've got the security camera, and I'm going to disable the laser grid in three, two, one, go. Okay, we good. Six two zero two, you say? Six two zero two. Oh, nuts, okay. nuts, 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 nuts. I've got to keep an eye on myself as well. Right, <laughs> right. In the in that room, Is that's the room you want to. Guaranteed? No, that's the way out. That's completely the way out, so we'll take that out. In that room, that's the server room that you're going into now. So I'll take the server room camp. looks clear. Great, plug me in and we'll see if this decryption this is good. This is absolutely going to be a trap, isn't it? Probably. But the computer that you're trying to hack is right in the middle of the room. Okay. I'll do a queen, queen sweep yep. for any uh, intel mucking about. Cool. And then once you've got the server hacked, I'm going to have to go and hack the second network. Sure. Do I know which server I'm trying to get access to? There's a lot of servers here. Alright, so, uh, well, I'm going to guess that you might need to uh, tip me off to, like, people coming through the door in a second. Yeah, I'm, I'll keep an eye on it as best I can. Rootkit in. What? Hmm? Our, our leak didn't spring what we were doing? Oh, careful, fire, careful, fire, careful, fire, camera! Ah, oh, there's, there's a camera in the corridor and in this room, so could you stay inside the server room for a, like a few minutes, please? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I want time to hack this <laughs> network. Right. See, I'm just worried that when you do hack the network, like, uh, things might kick off. Right, but I'll hear it, I think. Right, it's good that you're cautious, but leave it for now, I think. Right, uh, I found something that may be malware in our domain control. It shows up the man process manager at a system monitor, which sounds benign enough, but it's never been there before. And the header looks suspect. Manufacturers listed as Symbiote software. It's good that you're cautious. I'll call that IBM, All right? That was not the right machine. Uh, okay, I found the machine that I'm trying to get into, so hacking it now. Downloading records from the server. Oh, the, the, the server person's rushing around looking Castle, for me now. we have everything we came for. Preparing to exfiltrate the location. Oh, good work. Be careful on your way out. Okay, remove the modem. I've got it. Oh, it was a rootkit, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a rootkit. Oh, can you not remove it? All right, no. fair enough. That's cool. Okay, so at the moment, nothing else is showing up. So as soon as you step through the door, I'll take over the camera. Right, okay, three, two, one, go. Got it. 
I've worried there and I, I needn't have been. That's worthwhile being cautious. I, I see these boxes from, I don't know if you can see it, and I keep thinking, oh right, those are the things I bug because of the first two missions. Alright. <laughs> Oh, pause, 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 pause. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, keep going. Don't worry, don't worry, I got you. I just, there's so many cameras that I have to hop between on this one just to stop them all watching you. Okay, okay. Good, good. When you go through this door, there's another camera we'll be watching, so I'll take that as soon as you step through. Okay. Stepping. Okay. Alright, I've got it. And then when you're ready, let me know. I'll disable the laser grid. I'm at the grid. Okay, three, two, one, go. I only knocked out one guy. Okay, you're in the safe zone again. I didn't even need to knock him out, you know, I could have usually just uh, gone yeah. past him. Oh well. What, what's going I'm on waiting for the other foot to drop. I am, I'm like, what's going on? That was... That was smooth. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Ah! Oh, what? What? The other bit that's confusing me is I got the achievement Occupy Wall Street. Um. Okay. What? What? what, what Wall was that Street for? is not in London, so. Oh. Uh... <laughs> okay, but Ghost, Pacifist, and Anonymous. That, that was good. Yeah. All objectives Seven complete. And ten intel. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think the other intel would have just got us killed, and we only got five points of footprint because you know you knocked the guy out. <laughs> that's that was impressive. We did good. Yeah. I can see why that's only five minutes now compared to the previous missions. <laughs> All right. I love that tool tip. Which one? A dead body leaves far less footprint than an unconscious back. witness. There Do with that information what you will. In the fires you uh. London. We were particularly intrigued by the frequent mention of a group called Adrastea. They seem to be involved in a very diverse range of transactions. We spent the last couple of days digging up any and all mention of Adrastea in the databases we have access to. But very little comes up. It seems elements within CIA and the former KGB know of them. But this is hard to explain. But it feels like parts of those files have been removed. The few files that mention the group have peculiar holes in them. So whoever they are, they're our main suspect now. The pattern had been very well obfuscated. But each of the payments into the money laundering scheme appears to coincide with a leak. Address A is selling classified information to third parties. Presumably. For now, our primary goal is to find the who and the where. The how and the why comes later. We'll keep digging and let you know once we uncover something actionable. Kozlova, a word before you leave. Yes, sir. You left very little for the authorities to call on in London. Safeguards inspectors are under the impression it must have been an inside job. I'm glad to hear it. We did our best to keep a low profile. This kind of approach is precisely why I chose to put you and Mr. Zimborski in the field. Until we know who our adversary is, we must take great care not to tip our hand. If you keep this up, they'll never see us coming. Thank you, sir. Will that be all? Absolutely. Don't hesitate to come to me if you have any further questions. Yeah, we're good. Though, I'll admit, I'm moderately surprised that they were aware that something happened at all. That is true. That is very true. Because we were just good. Alright, conversation time. Seems so. Sorry I uh, have all of them. <laughs> yeah. Coming up with a convincing <laughs> pretext for you is not a simple matter. I'm not surprised to hear you say that. I mean, the last the time they did Queening easy. Lady. Put him in a suit. Give him the sort of title that makes eyelids heavy? Asset manager, for instance. But you don't look like you belong anywhere. <laughs> I don't mean to be flippant, Mr. Gray, but you should have seen me when my hair was spiky. <laughs> yes, well, we appreciate your effort to tone it down. Now, what are you here to see me about? 
Do we have any information at all on Andrastea? Sarah's team is digging through the archives now and pulling on our contacts within the CIA and the FSB. The only hit we've had so far has been a brief mention buried in a top secret CIA report from the early 80s. So it's some kind of Cold War thing? It could have been around for longer. It's difficult to say. The report was mainly financial and contained no further information about our targets. So what was Absalom's role in all this? It looks like he got set up. He was following the money trail from the drug trade, and somebody wanted to stop him. But then, why did the authorities kill him? All the Danes knew was that he was spying for a foreign power inside the seat of their government, and he was armed and dangerous. They were trying to bring him in for questioning. Based on what you brought back, it seems somebody made Absalom believe it was a hit squad coming to kill him. When they came, he panicked and started shooting. It's hard to accept that a man died because of a misunderstanding. That's the cost of clandestine operations. You have to keep secrets even from the people who are on your side. Sometimes that gets you in trouble. I'll start preparing for the next operation. This may be our first shot at Adrastea. Let's make sure it won't be our last. Sorry, I was just cracking up there that, uh, oh, uh, it's hard to believe someone died because of an accident. I mean, uh... Whatever, misunderstanding. Uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah. um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people die from misunderstandings. Particularly when we are playing the game. Yeah. <laughs> I have to stay at my office. It's glitchy times. Alright, I'll, I'll go and do you first. Oh, no, go with whichever order it goes in. I'm just like saying, I've noticed you have to talk to Martin. I'm like, okay. I mean, I don't think you actually need to stay in your office in order no, for I me don't. to talk to you. Get teleported, but, you know, immersion. Looks like we have four times the field operations with the other guy. Nice. Because we're better than him. Any progress with Alexandra? She's got a boyfriend. Ouch. She's out of my league anyway. Hey, how was Berlin? <laughs> it was, uh, interesting. It sounded like it would be a milk run. It did, didn't it? Let's just say things didn't go according to plan. We got what we came for, though. We? Uh, yep. I made some new friends. I'll introduce you to them sometime. Whatever, so traitor. Magic. How about you? Yeah. I heard you quite <laughs> the Calling it now. London. It all went off without a hitch. How is it to work with Martin? He's got my back. Why? He just seems a bit, uh, full of himself. I haven't really noticed. Hmm. Maybe he's only like that around American. me. It's the same. <laughs> you, you should be more grateful. I mean, uh, you helped pull his ass out of that place in Mexico. Right. Now let's talk to Grenade Man. With the possibly good or bad Russian. <laughs> no, we just don't know, so we trust that he's speaking the real thing. Is that Radkov? Radkov. Ah, what do we? Yes, there's a war. Мне пора волноваться. Скорее мне беспокоиться за вас. Я могу дать кучу причин для беспокойства. Какую именно вы выбрали? Похоже, вы отклоняетесь от плана, лишь бы кого-нибудь не убить. А должна убивать? Нет. В милосердии нет ничего плохого, но я беспокоюсь, когда ваше угрызение совести ставит под угрозу задание. Не то чтобы я боялась запачкать руки. Но без крайней нужды я не убиваю. Однако, как вы решаете, необходимо ли это, пребывая в стремительной суматохе событий? Да, можно пощадить случайного прохожего. Но что, если завтра он опознает вас и выдаст врагам? Я шпион, а не наемный убийца. Вы должны быть готовы убить ради успеха задания. Иначе вы просто не годитесь для этой работы. Мое следующее задание будет проходить во время званного вечера. Надеюсь, вы простите меня, если я не перебью всех гостей. Приберегите свои... Uh, okay, but, what's left after all that? Maybe a small technical difficulty train there for a little bit. Uh, I have to speak to Fira. Which one? 
Which one's Sarah? Is she the, 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 the one that gets really annoyed if you kill anyone? Uh, she's the one who, uh, to use modern parlance, I believe would be called Karen. Awesome. Which I always find it really unfair, because I've known plenty of lovely Karens. Exactly. But yeah, she's the one that's just like generally annoyed. This Kozlova. Good to have you back. Shut you up. are in a good mood. I have the opportunity to watch you at work in London. Splendid job. I must especially commend you on your efforts to avoid unnecessary loss of life. Am I really to be praised for not killing people? <laughs> I know it sounds like faint praise. But I now see why Mr. Gray chose you and Martin as our field team, rather than somebody with special forces experience. I thought that was because CIA didn't give us any people. What I'm trying to say is, I'm glad you have a conscience. I hope you'll stick to this approach in the future as well. Hey, I wasn't here to watch your last operation, but I've been told you kicked all sorts of ass. I'm sorry if this sounds ignorant, but I was just wondering. Go on, ask. I used to do Taekwondo, and I was really into martial arts for a while. <laughs> I've never seen a lady beat a guy in a fight. Well, it's a pretty simple equation. In a fair fight, a good big guy will beat a good small guy. That leaves me two options. I can either be better, or I can make sure it's not a fair fight. Which one is it? When things go according to plan, both. And when they don't? Knife to the heart or carotid artery. <laughs> <laughs> ah, woman of my own heart. <laughs> I've just listened to that guy thinking, my goodness, you sound like such an ass. It's like, oh, I do a sports martial art. I've never seen a girl fight, uh, beat a guy. Like, maybe if you knew a real one. Apologies to any Taekwondo practitioners, but I, my understanding is, I used to do it myself, my understanding is, it is very much a sports martial art. And like, you can beat up someone that doesn't know anything with it, but you're unlikely to win against someone that knows something to, you know, hurt and kill people. I don't know why I just checked out that toilet. I did the same. <laughs> <laughs> While I was waiting. I've never robbed a bank before. That's gonna make an eye-catching entry in my CV. Was the security high? Their sysadmin seemed competent, but with a system that complicated, there's always some vulnerability to exploit. Those guys don't get paid well enough. What do you think about this Adrastea business? It seems kind of James Bond. Some network of rogue spies? That sort of thing doesn't happen in real life. I wonder if they're really rogue, or if it's just some project we're not allowed to know about. Oh, you mean kind of like the Cambridge executive? It looks more and more like the right hand just doesn't know what the left is doing. Could you imagine if we end up tracking down these Adrastea people, and they turn out to be officially sanctioned by CIA? Yeah. For a, a lot of those conversations, like the cutscene stopped and they still kept talking. Yeah. This is an empty room. I do like the fact that your room has a punching bag in it. Have a bunch of what? You've got a punching bag in your room. Yeah. Yeah. Weed punch alert. Blah, blah. Flail my arms at it. I have to wonder how much Everlast get in terms of oh, Neverlast, okay, right, okay, right, okay. Yeah, why, why, would, why would Everlast get anything from it? Nothing's been plagiarized or copied or stolen. What? What's this? Why, why do I have like a, a sine wave thing? That's not sine wave, but you, you know what I mean. Police radio scanner. <laughs> yeah. Gun cleaning equipment and circuit. Oh yeah, because uh. Katja herself is like an electrical engineer, isn't she? Yeah. HA! But just like shooting people. Kind of thing. Hmm? But with vodka on the table? Yes. Look under the desk. That's another- <laughs> <laughs> So she just keeps a spare. It's like, I only have one bottle, it's not bad. <laughs> That's quite a cute little finishing touch. Uh, at least she has water next to the punching bag. Alright. No but... drinks, cola. Yeah. Oh, and uh, for any of our American viewers, CV is uh, what you would call a resume. Yeah, curriculum vitae. Story of life. That thing requires. 
requires a degree just to be able to write properly. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, uh, uh, let's take a look at the what the next mission is going to be, and then wrap up for now, I think. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty smooth mission, though. It bodes well for us in the future. I'm uh, unsure it does, but I'll take like, your totally word for it. <laughs> Although, I don't know if I want to do flawlessly, if you're going to be subjected to that sexist pig every single time. <laughs> I don't take one down, but you're a girl. <laughs> I think it's kind of sexist in the way that most people were in 1996. Not like, you know, super sexist, but you know, kind of low level. I should stop talking about stuff like this on YouTube. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That'll just get cut out completely that bit. <laughs> that, that sounds like a take effort. It does. And I'm willing to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Mission time, dude. Let's go. Okay, next mission is Warsaw, Poland, the Vatkov residence. Using records from Catalyst, analysis has identified the person controlling the money flow in the mysterious. Uh, controlling the money flow wow. as wow. a mysterious British financier by the name of Richard Baxter. Baxter has proven to be an extremely hard target to the point where he must be using tradecraft to cover his tracks. Surely that's implicit in covering your... I suppose it means he knows what he's doing, I guess. Uh, Baxter could well be the source of our leaks. Through Major... Subolka? Subolka? <laughs> I can't uh, see it, so I can't even help. <laughs> C-I-B-U-L-K-A? Let's just say Subolka for now. <laughs> Through Major Sibby's network, we have learned that Baxter <laughs> will extend a social event, uh, extend, attend a social event in Warsaw. The objective is to identify Baxter, isolate him, and then interrogate him. Your cover will let you access the main floor at Blitz time limit, 8 minutes. We are consummate professionals here. <laughs> that sounds fun though, so next time we're going to infiltrate a party, Kidnap someone in the middle of the party and interrogate him. Uh, I'm wondering nice. if she'll have like a nice sort of swanky dress or if it's not that kind of party. She just shows up with the jeans and yeah. punk rocking outfit and go, let's, hey. Let's have a look at what my, any new equipment. Oh, look, she's got a nice wee dress. A, for a given value, a nice. Got a new kind of ammo, a new gun, and that's all. Fair enough. But eight minutes, that implies that we should be able to do it in about an hour. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that that's a good place for the next video. For now, that was that was successful, but time to do some serious editing to make it look like the professionals that we actually are, <laughs> rather than the, the morons that we portray. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time. That was fun. See ya.